Hello and welcome back, I'm Arumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more of our campaign in E4. This is still Ragusa. We are cleaning up and making some money taxing the Spanish, basically, to fund our war with the Ottoman. There's a Tuscan stack there. We need to knock out Switzerland. I think one of our subjects. There he is. Look at good old Nitra. He's like, I'll take care of it, boss. He's gonna go after Friesland for us. This uh, pretty fancy general. His capital just fell. Let's move to the next province. The knights are being annoying. Let's have Mr. Nitra pay for this. 25 stack probably can't contest our army. There is a Swiss army marching around our land a little bit, which is kind of irritating. I feel like we need a little bit more force limit. Still. Mines just left our trade league. It's a bit risky to try to split up in Carpet Siege with a 20... Five plus stack nearby, so we'll just uh, be a little bit more patient with it. Gain some professionalism. Nitro's gonna get deep fried. No, I think Nitro's gonna just sneak some occupations. He's he's a pretty good little guy. His cap, I mean, his country's being harassed a bit, but he'll be fine. Don't worry about him. He's a good little guy. Move back up into Parma again. Oh, hey, look, Ferrari's separatists. Looks like Tuscany's having some problems. You can never have too much manpower. Ferrar has fallen. Goes to Nitra. We ignore this loan offer. I don't actually want to fight these rebels. I don't really care about them. So why don't you head up to there? We go around this way instead. Yeah, supplies garbage in both directions, but... You don't actually have access through Milan. Feel better going this way for some reason. Deep fried fries. How am I feeling today? A little bit better. A little bit better. Still a little bit weird, but a little bit better. Let's actually go stop them from making progress on our subject's capital. Umbria just fell. Go to Nitra. This army needs to head over and start working on Mr. Spain. So we're coming through Burgos again. Burgos into their capital. General Bogey just died. Sad times. Bogey, I think, was drilling. We need a new general. Our ruler is still quite young, but he has six military skill now, so now is the best time to make him a new general if we're going to. And he's pretty garbage, honestly. Isidoro Sorgo, 5-3. That's, that's disappointing. But, oh well. Who shall lead? Remember you were a streamer who streams? I am. I try. Caffeine Gremlin? That's a great name. Caffeina. I believe that's how it's pronounced in Spanish. For some reason. What? You, what? <laughs> 5 to 14? Nice. Exact bottom of the scale. Okay, let's try a different name, Dom. <laughs> let's go with, uh... Seth. Sefrado, Sefrado. There, that's a little better. 6232, that's that's acceptable. I'm sorry, I can't keep a 5 pip general. You're gonna execute that guy, indeed. Okay, so this stack's gonna head over. It's a bit larger than it really needs to be. Um These rebels should not march onto um or into Urbino. They should stick near the Ferrari's cores. So let's just go occupy that. Great Britain just declared war upon Denmark. <gasps> no, my subject! He's trying so hard! Or Nitra. Okay, we'll send another army up that way. Still don't have an army dispatched onto Switzerland, though. Maybe send the 20 stack. Tuscany's gonna likely unoccupy some stuff if I do that, but... I guess that's reasonable. One does not simply march into Urbino. One does simply march into Urbino. I does. Burgos already fell. That was easy. Here, Nitro, you pay for it. Toledo, we go. Bum, 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 bum. Is it me, or does it look like France only has two forts? We are hostile to this and this, so it's showing the mothballed forts on the map. But no, he's got a lot more than that. He does have a capital fort at level one, though, which is 
rather embarrassing. We'll take Overstick first so we can take his capital. Worth more. Four score and enthusiasm to take that. Fabian, holy crap, Fabian. 74 years subscribed. That's impressive. 74 years. Don't argue, guys. 74 years. Correct number. Bum, bum, bum. Spain. Nope. Tuscany is trying to take back Umbria. At 45 days siege sticks. Even if they take that back, I think we've got enough going that we can knock these guys out relatively soon. We can also carpet siege a lot of this guy. One, two, three provinces that are not defended. <laughs> Nitra. No, this is Kiev. I thought that was Nitra on his way back, but nope. Kiev's coming over to try to party. Cool. We'll take some of the troops off and try to get some more occupations in. We're going to milk Spain for another couple thousand ducats is probably the goal. Um, ignoring our transports that just completed because they are not safe to try to merge at the moment. One also, one other thing we should also consider doing before the war with the Ottomans is... Jimmy. Jimmy in chat, could you, could you remind me to turn on Discipline plus 5 before the war? Or do you guys just want to do it now? I'll just do it now. Last 10 years. No, 20 years. Eh, let's just do it now. Just get that turned on. That way Jimmy doesn't have a difficult job. Doesn't have to worry about remembering anything important. We've got five marches now. George is the only one with no troops. Poor guy. He's paying 16 ducats a month in maintenance. Fort maintenance minus 11.7. I wonder how much he has to pay for these things. That's actually pretty impressive. 1.67. Normal maintenance is one ducat. Two ducats for a tier two, so... I mean, that's not bad. Alright. I mean... He's not an inefficient march or anything, right? 115 to our six... Yeah, he's, he's fine. I think we subsidize him. Let's give him enough money to cover his, his costs, just so that he's not continuously taking out new and bigger loans. If his expenses are 16 ducats... Not considering the interest, I'll just give him like 15 ducats a month, that's fine. For all of eternity. Here's 15 ducats a month. Enjoy. Stop going deeper into debt, please. Remember, my vassals aren't building troops, even with positive income, any advice there? Do they have treasury? Troops cost money to train. Try, try sending them a gift, they need to have some cash on hand to actually fill the troops. And you gotta be aware that if, if you're already at war, even if they don't need to, they have a tendency to try to hire mercs instead of regulars. So they want to buy merc infantry, which costs like 30 gold. Well, they actually they cost more like 50, uh, 25, but with inflation and stuff, they, they can cost more. Why can't you type in the subsidies field? I don't know. It's the same reason why you can't type in the sale price on selling ships and stuff. Because of reasons. I didn't say there were good reasons, I just said reasons. Okay, Carpet Siege mode engaged on Mr. Spain. Is he in another war or something? I haven't seen his army recently. No? Just us. Yeah, where are the Spanish troops? I don't know. Maybe he was. He might have been off trying to fight wars in the New World or something and we've just... Kind of interrupted his situation. Next we'll go after Friesland. Friesland's capital, that is. Making some progress on this level 5 hill fort in Bairn. As expected, Tuscany's doing a pretty good job of undoing the work that I did. But he does have that rebel stack and he doesn't appear to be able to deal with it. So, that's fine. Send the leader to the fort, so we get the extra siege pips there. Uh, these are not con... Mm, yeah, we'll occupy them anyway, that's fine. Look at our little subject, Transylvania. This guy lives over here. But look at the work he's doing. Just, just found a fort, got seven troops, barely enough to make the siege happen. 
No artillery, but he's being useful. In fact, if you really wanted to, you could take a moment, look at their force limits. The Nitra can field 12, he's fielding 12. Kiev can field 12, and he's only fielding 8. Pennsylvania can field 14, and he's only fielding 7. Might be in our best interest to go through and just get all of the marches fully built up. Georgia's got too much loans. Genoa has no loans. Transylvania I just paid off. Kiev has no loans. Nitra has no loans. Okay. So it was Transylvania that had the largest disparity. They've got 18,000 manpower with 7 force limit free. Basically, every infantry costs them like 0.25 ducats a month, roughly. So if we just give him a ducat, he'll build four more infantry. Eventually. I'm gonna give him like three ducats though, just to get him working. Is the Dracula dynasty in power in Transylvania? Um, no. Sasul. France has declared war upon Provence. Probably reconquest. Capital of Friesland just fell. Looks like that got knocked down by our subject. Get your pay for that. It's probably enough to knock out Friesland. 72 war score. It's fine. I don't care for Black Flag. We'll have this army march all the way back home. Redis redeploy it soonish. 1400 ducats in the bank. That's probably enough to pay off Georgia's debt. Okay, Georgia's debt free. Kind of a weird number of troops here. But, fine. Pronunciation's killing you? Sometimes I do it on purpose, you know that, right? I'm not saying I did just now. Ugh. Sneaky little guy. Istria is like one of the only provinces in our country not protected by a zone of control, so naturally they siege it. Of course, every time. Oh, the Spanish Navy is actually coming all the way over here. With their lights and transports, though. They must be trying to land. I don't actually want to fight this Navy. Power projection was an issue a while back, but the fact that we fought against the Commonwealth, maybe we could stop trying to privateer the Ottomans and instead protect trade. Try to... steal the money from them. I want to take a moment, once these war this war is over, to assess trade a little bit more in detail. Alright, who's to get knocked out next? We've got to knock out Mr. Switzerland and Mr. Spain. Spain's got negative 10 reasons for acceptance at the moment. it has got a 20 stack heading over to fight my mountain sieging force, maybe? There's Baron. It's 81 war score to force this guy to be orthodox, that's too much. Okay, and we'll start over basically from the beginning now and just redo what we did to Tuscany. Reoccupy those, and I think Spain's gonna want out pretty soon. Bum 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 bum. PUs are complicated? Yeah, a little bit. Fortunately for us, we are unable to do personal unions, so we don't have to worry about that. Stop sieging my capital, Tuscany, seriously. Like, but, but, but my prosperity, though. Dude, why? Why you gotta do this? Influence over the Mamluks? Not actually concerned about that. Big Diplotech, super early. Ooh, Monarch points are really high. Um, Army tradition's higher than I think it's been in quite a while, so let's go ahead and roll just a lot of generals. I want professionalism, and I don't mind wasting the military points to buy it. 60, 50, uh, 60 14 pips right now is also pretty solid, so... I'm gonna roll... probably four generals, unless the first couple are extremely good. 
She'll lead again. Let's go with someone who hasn't led yet. Stavros. 0192. Stavros. 5351. Excellent maneuver. We're good at reinforcement and getting us where we need to be. Gaming Bread. That's a good name. Sure, why not? Gaming Bread. Gaming Bread. Not very good. But you bought us one professionalism, so useful. Shermy. Shermy 99. Oh, ho. yes. That's a good general. I like that. I would prefer if it was a 3-5 instead of a 5-3, but... And Mr. Dapper. Mr. Dapper 1. Not that great. Okay, so order of priority then. Uh, Gaming Bread, sorry, but you are not good enough to keep. Mr. Next up, I care about Siege Pips. Can't fire our ruler. 5-3-5-1. I like that maneuver. So I'm going to keep him strictly to get troops where they need to be and possibly to reinforce at full speed in hostile territory. Mr. Dapper, two Siege Pips is normally good enough to keep, but you don't measure up with our other guys. Looks like we're just keeping Shermie and Stavros out of those new guys. And Wiggle for life, you also don't match up with other people, so... Sorry, but you need to get fired as well. It happens. Other than that, we'll stay over the leader limit by one because I expect someone will die, but I don't know who, so we will just stay over by one. Diplo point wise, we could buy up some more mercantilism or we could do development. I think I might even still have dev cost edicts on. I do. Yeah, I'm being super good. Super good at remembering to do things, aren't I? I mean, we're so far ahead of time on all tech that. Realistically, we should just spend a few hundred monarch points on any type of dev. Whatever. Fix. Done. We gain stuff and things. We're strong good now. Okay. We've lost the Siege of Valencia. Could we please win this mountain fort before that Spanish army comes and threatens this siege? Just take it. Just take it. Thank you. Good. Uh, let's get this Nitra. Let this army go join the other stack, because that's definitely something that he's going to want to come and engage if he can. Looks like they may have fought the rebels. I don't see the rebel stack anymore. Those guys go back to drilling. So we've paid off George's debt, we've built up all of his forts, and as expected, yes, he's going to come threaten that. Looks like he made it just in time, though. We don't need the stab. Our points are usually more valuable, though. We have 15 war score with Spain, that's it. We need to get this guy unwilling to be in the war. Okay, this army is there. The fact that the Ottomans are not even considering attacking us is a great indicator for how strong we are and whether or not we can beat them. If he thought that he could beat us, he would have already declared war. So he doesn't think he can beat us, which means that we should just attack him, because he's going to be weak. Lucka needs to get reoccupied. Our poor subjects are getting annihilated because I have a tendency to not protect their armies, because I don't care. That's their job, right? They'll keep building more men, it's fine. We can still subsidize a couple more people. Subsidizing Transylvania and Georgia. We have fielding 8, Anfield 12. Transylvania was, I believe, one of the ones I was subsidizing, but I only gave him three ducats. Not enough, is it? Noah, uh, eh. We wanted to do some 10% army tradition stuff. 10% army tradition stuff. 
I'm not sure what that means. I wanted to get forts built, and I wanted to... 10% army tradition stuff, what does that mean? Why do I get fort provinces to Nitra? By now, I'm sure we have a command for that. I... don't... particularly want to explain it over and over again. <laughs> Went over it yesterday. There's there's a lot of good reasons. There's like five or six reasons for it. Yes, now everyone can just immediately uh, say random commands and hope that they find the command. <laughs> Alright, I need Spain out of the war. He's on medium enthusiasm. He's the only reason that this war is continuing. He should be done by now, but... Let's start working on Valencia. Tuscany's, I gotta say, I'm, I'm impressed. He's managing to put together a fairly sizable army. We'll go fight him. Who's our best combat guy? 3 4, 5 3, 5 3, 5 3, 5 3. Wow, that's a lot of 5 3s. Uh, I guess we'll do Stavros, see if he can pick up a trait. Is that already him? Oh, it's Quasar. Uh, let's do Stavros here. It'd be better to do it with mercs. But I can serve the manpower, but it's too late now. Money during blockade is not a big deal. Black snack wipe here. It's fine, it's good. Why do I have a feeling this exact same thing happened yesterday? What? Me expanding and taking economic wars instead of trying to attack the Ottomans? Well, you know, it happens. Whenever I see an opportunity for, like, easy. Expansion. I have. Oh, beautiful. Infantry combat ability on Stavros. Very nice. If I see an opportunity for easy money, I'm going to take it. Almost always. It's an example of the AI being super annoying and taking advantage of the fact that zone of control restrictions don't work through your subject's borders to your borders. He's like able to march through stuff. I don't like it. One of the reasons we didn't want to give that province away earlier. But we did. Okay. Spain wants out slightly. We want 2,300 ducats though. And war reps. Negative 98 reasons for that. Just have to keep on occupying him until he stops resisting. Stop resisting arrest! <laughs> Ferrara is occupied by us. Let's get that transferred as well. Okay. Um, well, the good news is we've paid off all of our debt. Or not all of our debt, but all of our subject's debt. We've built up the forts. We've started to subsidize. I think I'm going to just send some subsidies to everyone now. Give Kiev three ducats. Just start with, like, give everyone three ducats a month. See if we can get them to build some more troops. Be better at being autonomous. Zone of control is broken. I don't think the zone of control is broken. So, more occupations. I don't really want to move into the mountain fort of Huesca. But Spain is at negative 50 reasons for peace. So, can't imagine him staying in this for too much longer. Wait, really? Wait, what? Alright, yeah, he has three war exhaustion. I'll occupy these two as well. Mamluks are doing a thing. Fair enough. The thing is flashing! That means that it's time for me to take a short break. I will be back in the next episode. As always, thank you for watching. Hope you guys are enjoying the campaign. I'll see you soon. Cheers.